GRD assays. And this is essentially a infection that you can get with a protozoa. And the name of that protozoa is Giardia lamblia. And what happens is this is acquired usually by some type of waterborne transmission. And this can also sometimes be acquired anywhere where you have water supply that isn't properly filtered. And a typical scenario that you'll see on a licensing exam is somebody who's gone camping who then drinks from some local body of water like a lake or a river or a stream and then gets this infection. And what happens basically is that Giardia protozoa goes into the small intestine and attaches to the wall of the duodenum and jejunum and then multiplies eventually causing this diarrhea type infection. So what are the symptoms? Well the symptoms are basically a watery diarrhea that is quite malodorous and also there will be significant abdominal cramping and abdominal distension as well. And another thing that they will definitely mention during the clinical vignettes is that the patient will have a lot of flatulence and a lot of belching as well, but no blood in the stool. Diagnosis, really you have to do stool tests. Now there's a lot of stool tests out there. You can do a stool WBC, a stool ova and parasite. Uh, there's quite a few. There's a stool gram stain, stool culture, stool fecal occult blood test. You can test the stool for a Clostridium difficile. A lot of these stool tests are available, but the one that you need to do for this one is this one right here, ova and parasite. And that stool test will allow you to detect and identify the Giardia organism. And in particular, the cysts will show up on an exam, microscopic exam of the stool. Treatment. The medication of choice is metronidazole. And it's usually given uh, 250 milligrams three times a day for about one week. And one final thing I wanted to mention, very important point is the prevention of this. Tell people to boil the water if they're out camping uh, before they drink it. And generally speaking, give them uh, advice about good hygiene and proper food preparation because this is essentially a waterborne uh, illness. So let's take a look at a couple of vignettes. 26-year-old man comes to the office because of 11-day history of crampy abdominal pain, non-bloody diarrhea, bloating, and increased flatus. He went camping three weeks ago where he and his friends cooked their own food and drank water from the streams. He tells you that two of the other three guys that he went with have similar symptoms. They are both patients of yours too. Temperature is 99, blood pressure is 110, pulse is 60. Physical exam shows mild diffuse abdominal tenderness and GOAC negative stool. Exam of a wet mount of stool sample under the microscope fails to reveal leukocytes. The most appropriate next step is. Okay, obviously he has some sort of diarrhea illness and the history of camping and drinking from the streams really points to Giardia. And that can be detected with a ova and parasite stool test. So that would be choice C. And finally, 24-year-old female college student presents to the physician's office with complaints of watery diarrhea, abdominal cramping, and bloating. She returned from a backpacking trip in the mountains four days previously. The patient was in moderate distress, had mild pyrexia, moderate tachycardia, and normal blood pressure and respiratory rate. There was no paler or cyanosis. She was mildly dehydrated, showed no signs of icterus. Cardiovascular system was normal, except for sinus tachycardia. Respiratory system was normal. Abdomen was soft, diffused tenderness without guarding. No masses were felt, no organomegaly. Bowel sounds were increased. 
A CBC revealed leukocytosis, hematocrit was elevated. Serum electrolytes revealed moderate hypernatremia, but otherwise unremarkable. Microscopic exam of stool revealed pear-shaped dorsally convex flattened parasites with two nuclei and four pairs of flagella, which of the following represents the best treatment? Well, it's a second order question. First, you have to come to the conclusion that this is Giardia. And then the second order is to know the appropriate treatment. And the appropriate treatment is, of course, metronidazole, choice E.